everybody, welcome to Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. I I don't really know much about this game, but I, I, I watched the trailer and I thought, hey, this is cool. So I bought it, as obviously. And what, what I really know about it is that, what, what I can kind of get at it is that it's not really like a story uh, driven game. You just, uh, you just kind of wander around to put the pieces together and apparently they're, you're the only person because like it like the, like the game says everybody's going to the rapture except you and um, we're gonna take we're gonna take a little bit of a break from fallout we've had too many of those I know beautiful Holy shit, that, is, that looks fuck that looks good. Oh, okay, I can move around now. Whoa, this game looks beautiful. Can I run? So I I'm Continue to broadcast for as long as I am able. If I'm right, we should be able to pick up the signal right across the valley. The event has left markers. We don't understand it yet, but we're going to keep working to try and understand it. You can use them to find what you're looking for. They're all here. The answers are in the light. Okay. Hey, what, what, what my accent at? Ooh. Up. Ah, ow, ow. And six and four. What the fuck? I got, I'm getting a bad feeling about that. Wait, is it the code to get in? Okay, I can't. I, I, what it looks like, I can't jump. I, if I'm if I'm sure, don't hate on me, but I'm I think that the rapture is a uh, like a uh, can I ride a bike? Ah, oh, I can't I can't ride a bike. I hear a phone. Where is it? That's just, that's not just background noise. That's an actual phone somewhere. I'm not, I'm not going insane. I hear it, you hear it too. Whoa. I actually did that. <laughs> I don't know where the phone is. Okay, don't tell me that. I have to walk like this the entire time. Well, the world may never know. 
Oh, it's getting louder. Oh, there it is. It's a satellite phone. This is a special announcement by the Emergency Measures Committee. Due to exceptional circumstances, radio and television in this area has been brought under the control of the EMC as per the Crisis Preparedness and Action Bill of 1982. Keep your radio and television on at all times. Stay indoors and avoid contact with other people. Do not attempt to telephone outside your local area. Do not panic and remain civil and calm. Stay tuned to this station for updates. Okay. I don't I don't really know. Cause what what it kinda sounds like is like I'm I'm not the I'm not the only person. I, I like I don't I don't really know if I can um I don't really know if I might have to like like to survive or something like might have to like find a place like to sleep for the night or stuff like that what the whoa I'm trying to do my job you two will be the only staff on site for this rotation. I'm just saying, if the main gate power fails, then there's no way in or out of the observatory. That's why there are backup generators. Jesus, why the hell are we even discussing this? Just don't you come running to me if you get locked in. If we get locked in, we won't be able to come running to you, will we? You let us worry about the clever stuff, and you can concentrate on sweeping up leaves and changing light bulbs. Happy? Now piss off. Oh, he told the piss off that road. That was unnecessary. Just because you're angry with me doesn't mean you have to take it out on everyone else. The radio. Can we just talk about this? No, Stephen, I'm done. I just want to get out of this place, and tonight is our best chance of doing that. You prep the arrays. I'm heading up to Tower 6. Okay. I love you. You know that, right? I love you too, Stephen. Yeah. Ooh, she didn't say it back. Let's get started. She said the love it back! <gasps> Ooh! We're diving into some deep stuff. Oh, that's so pretty. That scared the shit out of me. I was just told I was just told to rotate my controller. So I did it and it scared the poop out of me. It scared me. It scared me a lot. Oh, hey, there's another light. I have to chase this one. I'm gonna have to chase this one, aren't I? I'm gonna get you. Ah, uh, it's so bright, Jeremy. I'm gonna get you. Ah, oh, it's it went away. <laughs> All right, now we're at a crossroads. Do I want to? follow it or now nah, I don't want to follow it <laughs> where are we going Harvington I think it's how you say it Harving Harvington Harvington can I get in here really I can't get in here no one's gonna care if I open their fence oh crap there it is I think it followed me <laughs> I hear another phone. Telephone booth. Doctor, is that you? Maybe it's Adele. How do I, I can't get in. Oh. Hello? It doesn't tell me. You need to shut down the optical array. It's using the observatory as a conduit to reach us, and it started spreading its range beyond the valley. Kate, we can't afford to let it do that. It's getting stronger. I'm going to call Clive back and I'm going to force him to order the strike. I just don't see what other choice we have. God knows Clive, if can you hear me? We need help. Who are you? Get out of the, the phone! It's in the phone! Okay, I think this game has a bit of a sinister plot behind it.
I think this game has a, has a more sinister plot behind everything. Ooh, that's creepy, man. That is creepy. <sighs> I saw some glowing over here. I think. Don't be so hard on yourself. We've all had rejections. You haven't. <laughs> Come on. We'll look at the figures, tighten up the data, and resubmit. Your core idea is sound. You just got the numbers slightly wrong. Don't patronize me. I'm not patronizing you. I think you are a brilliant man, Dr. Appleton. Listen. I'm here, right? We're together. You and me. The alignment event tomorrow. It's yours, okay? You saw the opportunity, you ran the numbers. Even if they can't see it. I'm proud of you. Is that supposed to make me feel better? See you then. Look on the bright side, uh, around here. <laughs> You're a hero. Prodigal son returns, right? <laughs> I'm surprised they haven't erected a statue in your honor yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can laugh all you want. But I'll bet the parish council have a subcommittee working on that right now. <laughs> Bye, light. We're going to call the light Hubbard. Ah! Why would you open that way? Hubbard the Light, that's his name, Hubbard. This game is beautiful. This game is beautiful, but like I guess I think there's a, I think there's a more sinister plot to it. on the phone what the hell I heard it Radio. Right, yeah. Extraordinary. The whole thing reminds me of high school. <laughs> Seeing Mars for the first time. That same rush of excitement. <laughs> My hands are shaking. Um, can I get in this way? Maybe the maybe the car is like a garage opener. No. Hmm. <laughs> the stars at night. What the fuck? Oh, is that, is that thing rushing by? Hubbard, that's his name. Hubbard. Oh wait, is that blood? <gasps> There's blood. Hey, there's a Rubik's Cube. Get in the back. I want to play with the Rubik's Cube. I want to play with the Rubik's Cube. Come on. Come on. I want to play with the Rubik's Cube. Uh. I'm telling you, this game, has a, this game has a more sinister plot behind it. Can I read this note? Close until further notice. We've... Wait, what? We've got the flu. Please try the seventh whistler. We'll be back in business as soon as we're up and about. George and Ellen go! 